Hi everyone, my name is Rosa and I'm a Youth Services Librarian at the Dufferin Clark Public Library. I might look familiar to some of you as I run the Reading Buddies and Born to Read programs at that branch. Today I'm going to share with you an activity that visually demonstrates how sound is made through cause and effect. And I learned this activity from a blog called Kids Activities Blog, which will be linked below. This is a really easy activity that you can do at home with your kids with some pantry staples and kitchen tools. And you're going to be making different sized drums. So feel free to substitute any of the materials that I have listed here for similar ones that you have lying around in your house. So what we're going to need is some round or cylinder shaped containers of various sizes and materials if you can. Um, empty tin cans and bowls work well. Chopsticks or wooden spoons to act as the drumsticks. Now, I don't have any chopsticks at home, so I'm substituting pencils and pens. And as cellophane paper and extra large balloons and rubber bands to act as the drum skins. And the last materials you're gonna be needing are some materials to bounce on the drums. Um, and you, again, feel free to substitute for different little objects that you may have around the house. I personally had dried chickpeas, which you can use dried beans, um, rice, some Cheerios, um, small little buttons, and some heart-shaped candies. So step one is to make your drums. Uh, the first set are with the balloon drum skins. So I just cut off the bottom portion of the balloon, the part that you would blow into to inflate the balloon, and then stretch the top portion over two of my jars. And voila, we have an instant drum. For the next two, I use the cellophane and the full wrapping paper, and I just cut those down a little bit to fit the top of the containers better, and then secure them over the tops with a rubber band. So step two is setting up your experiment, and you're just gonna add the various items, such as the rice and the dried beans, on top of your little drums. So step three is to play and start banging those drums and watch all the items jump around and listen to the different sounds that each of your drum make. This is a fantastic activity that demonstrates how we interact and control our environment and how when something happens, it can lead to something else happening, cause and effect. So. You can extend the learning potential of this activity by asking questions during the activity. How high did the material jump? Which material jumped the highest? What were the sounds of the different cylinders or drums? For the full activity, please see the link to the blog, Kids Activities Blog. Until next time, please stay safe and goodbye.